Dahil sa COVID-19, mga kaibigan, tayo po ay nagka-lockdown. Bawal lumabas, bawal makisama sa labas, bawal makisalamuha, bawal lang usapang harapan. Ano ho? Kaya ang ginawa po natin, nasanay tayo ng trabaho online. Chat online, usapan, video call, voice call, puro online yan. Para naman may protection tayo, isa sa mga partner natin sa organisasyon, dito po sa programang may kudbayanihan, ay ang LeadCap. Ito po ang League of Data Privacy and Cyber Security Advocates of the Philippines. Ang Secretary General nito, walang iba kundi si Dr. Nelson Celis. Good morning, I'm uh, Dr. Nelson Celis, uh, one of the founding uh, officers of uh, LIDCAP that stands for League of Data Privacy and Cyber Security Advocates of the Philippines. We are here now in TESDA and uh, the reason behind of being here in TESDA is that uh, we had a MOA, the LIDCAP had a MOA with uh, TESDA to ensure that the TESDA is compliant with the Data Privacy Act or RA Republic Act 10173. And uh, Republic Act 10173 or Data Privacy Act is uh, a law that mandates all government and private institutions to be uh, compliant. That means to protect the personal information of the uh, any organization no? and uh, of course the government agency is uh, one uh, any government agencies uh, is uh, obliged to comply with this because of processing of personal information like names address uh, telephone numbers email addresses and so on and so forth and all of this encompasses personal information and it is covered by Republic Act 10173 or the Data Privacy Act. This was uh, enacted uh, during the time of the previous uh, president and uh, this mandates all government and private institutions no, to protect no, the personal information that they process. So uh, for the schools like TESDA, uh, <laughs> they process uh, the grades, the uh, personal information of the students and uh, this is very important that uh, TESDA has to protect all this personal information of the students. Similarly with other schools covered by CHED, covered by DepEd, they have to uh, comply with the uh, Data Privacy Act. In fact, uh, this is one of the major concerns of the IATF no? <coughs> uh, when the pandemic hit us sometime in uh, March uh, because it uh, covers the uh, personal information of those uh, patients that were infected by uh, COVID-19. So there were several uh, exchanges of uh, opinion between the uh, IATF, Department of Health, and of course the National Privacy Commission on what to well, guard or how to protect the uh, personal information of those infected with COVID. And similarly with the uh, ongoing uh, uh, project with regard to the vaccination of all the uh, Filipinos, that covers the personal information of all uh, uh, people or uh, our citizens. And uh, that is also covered by uh, by uh, Data Privacy Act. The penalty is very, very harsh. No? If, let's say, a particular organization is not compliant with the Data Privacy Act, and, of course, the five pillars of the National Privacy Commission, the maximum penalty is around 5 million pesos. No? Or five years. That's why Every organization should be compliant. And uh, sino bang gustong makulong <laughs> at mapunta sa, uh, sa kulungan, sa jail? So nobody would like to do that. You know? So instead of uh, paying penalty of six millions also, they invest on 
uh, policies, procedures, and equipment no? just to ensure that the uh, Data Privacy Act is complied with. So all organizations are required. No? So whether it's private or government agency, if it is a government agency, there, there was even a circular memorandum from the DILG, you know, from Secretary Año, uh, that all governors, uh, even up to the mayors and barangay level, they have to comply with the, with the laws. And uh, as to what has been happening here in, uh, in the Philippines, there are already fast food chains that were already alerted by the uh, National Privacy Commission, the, the regulatory body, to stop using their online uh, system in capturing the uh, uh, online uh, order delivery because uh, their systems were not compliant with the uh, Data Privacy Act. They just collect the uh, personal information of the uh, customer and that's it and they don't even bother how to protect it. So not only the fast food chains but uh, <laughs> but a lot, you know. And those are just some of the examples. That's why here in TESDA, we make sure that schools, <coughs> uh, training schools accredited by TESDA, are also Data Privacy Act compliant. So here in TESDA, you can say that <coughs> we are already compliant in the sense that we have been doing the. Uh, the uh, continuous uh, application of data protection measures and uh, security measures. So this is our all ongoing now and uh, we, we have been uh, reviewing a lot of policies ongoing, uh, a lot of policies with regard to accreditation of schools because uh, since TESTA is already uh, a compliant uh, organization with the uh, Data Privacy Act, the 10,000 schools should also be compliant with the Data Privacy Act.